Good morning. What's up, guys? Hey, listen. Yeah, I, I'm like in my. I just want to hang out, and I want to hang out. And I want to have a. I want to have a topic conversation, and I gotta do breakfast. So y'all gonna be looking at the dish pan and the vegetables. There's our vegetables. Look, I put these bananas highly visible, and they still not eating them. And I, I, I wasn't even the one that bought the bananas. Okay, I didn't even buy the bananas. I don't know why. They didn't eat the bananas. I didn't put the bananas in the buggy. I didn't have anything. I guess I'll make a smoothie with them today. Because you know me, I hate to see a vegetable go bad. Okay? So, sorry about a little bit of that cleavage, cleave that's in there. I'm trying not to be on camera because I'm working on some stuff. Let me invite. Let me get something going here. We got to talk, Roseanne is on uh, Wendy. We got to talk about that. What did you guys think about the reboot? Uh, I, see, I'm a person, I watch re, I watch television reruns, old shows. I love my old shows. And we can talk about that. Oh, oh wait a minute. I got to get her off my list because I know she works so hard. And I don't want to, I don't want to be inviting her while she's working because I know it probably throws her. She's not a social media person. And I'm just talking about a friend. So, um. I'm just hanging out. I'm trying not to be on camera, but I can't get it to go further that way. But y'all miss it. I was talking about these bananas. Y'all remember Patty Betty put these bananas in my buggy? Look, we were out vegetable shopping. Why hasn't Patty Betty eaten these bananas? So I've got to figure out what to do with these bananas today. In fact, let's just bring that in the shop there. There. All right. We got to empty this basket today. So we're going to go. We're gonna, we're, I'm getting ready to make some breakfast. I'm going to cut up these potatoes for some home fries. Uh, I got some bacon in the oven, and this video will self-destruct, because I might end up flashing y'all. <laughs> I got some, I'm, I'm going to do some home fries. I'm going to reach down in the basket and grab an onion or two. And this, this potato is left over from the last batch, so we'll go ahead and cook that. I'm obviously not going to do anything with these sweet potatoes, but you know me, we love onion and everything around here. So we're going to do um, a little bit of onion, a little bit of potatoes. And make some home fries. We're going to gadget this up. We're going to use the gadget on these potatoes. So I figured if I got to be here using the gadget, I'd turn on the camera or whatever. But listen, you know me. We live in public. So, you know, make sure I don't, y'all don't see that. Don't be screenshotting. And don't be, uh, don't be screen recording because, you know, we're just hanging out. So let's get this open here. Um, I asked about leftovers. You see, we made that pizza last night. Let me show you guys the uh, the remnants of, not the pizza, but this is what the pearl onions look like after they've been in the fridge. Look at that sauce. You see how that, so look at that. Oh, honey. So, one thing, I tasted the sauce this morning. So, the day after is a little salty because, you know, they went real heavy on the soy sauce. So, we're going to actually uh, improvise. We're going to reimagine this sauce today. Look at that. See that? OMG. All right. Marcy, I don't know who Marcy is. Somebody wants to come on. Um, you got to tell me your other username if I know you somewhere else or whatever. Because I don't mind bringing people on the, in the shop. Because please don't look at me this morning. But look at that sauce. And it smells good. It was... Um, I would have switched it around because they had like a half a cup of soy sauce. And I said last night, that's too much soy sauce. But it was so good. It's so addictive, y'all. Talk about our addiction to flavor and get, bringing that restaurant flavor home. This was that restaurant flavor. So I saw these pearl onions in the, um, in the uh, produce section. And remember, we've been talking about, you know, since we're trying to get away from canned goods, the only time we've had pearl onions is in the can with green peas, right? And so when I saw the pearl onions, I was like, I, I got to get take these pearl onions home. But they had a recipe on the package. And the recipe said, told you how to peel the onions. But hey, Robert, um, Robert, did I flip that around? Let me, hold on, hold on. Robert reminds me. I need to flip around. Hold on. Let me flip this around. All right. There we go. Okay, cool. All right. That, that's better. Is that better, Robert? Robert has a pet pee. Robert has a live stream pet pee so that when I hold up these packages, y'all can read them. And that's why we flip the screen. 
for Robert. Let me see. I'm looking for the recipe. Okay, so that this is what I this is what Robert. I'm trying not to be in the shot. That makes me more in the shot. There. Hold on. Now I gotta move it that way. <laughs> okay, wait. Okay, sorry. There we go. Okay, there we go. Get y'all back. All right, I was trying to move it away from me. Anyway, so I saw this package of pearl onions. Now I got to go this way. So now y'all can read it because Robert knew I was going to hold up that recipe. All right, so I saw this package of pearl onions in the produce section. But on the back, it had um, how to. Now I got to figure out which way to do this. Let me see. That way. Okay. So on the back, it had this little recipe, um, which is actually a secret sauce, a secret two sauce. And because um, it said a quart of water, you know, boil your boil your onions. How you boil the onions? It said about thirty seconds. I probably should have boiled them a little bit longer because I didn't know, you know, with the onion, you really don't know how. You talk about peeling the onion, you don't know how much to take off. I mean, it's already a tiny onion, as you can see. So you really don't know how much to take off. I really didn't know until I cooked it. Then you can see, like, see that one right there? I kept this one right here. See this one? This white one right here? That is, that one needed peeling a little bit more. So, and basically you do this, you can see it. You end up, even though we ate a lot of it last night, you end up with kind of something that could necessarily, oh, oh I'm confused. Um, it really should be like a topping to something, you know. This would have made a great topping for some fried rice or um, or really, I mean, I don't know, anything. Anything because it was so good. I mean, imagine if this as a layer in a casserole, a veggie casserole, a regular casserole or lasagna or something like that. Something on that oriental, uh, oriental or Asian cooking, pearl onions in this sauce. The sauce was, again, one third, uh, read, read the recipe. Uh, it was one third, one half cup soy sauce. I thought that was a bit too much on the sauce, soy sauce. I would take that back about to um, about a third of a cup uh, instead of a half of a cup. Uh, if you're watching your salt intake, or if you're using reduced salt or any of those other kind of things, um, I would bring that down and then bring up the vinegar a little bit just to kind of match because you still need. The right amount of quantity. I would bring up the vinegar. You know, vinegar is really good um, for reducing one of them blood pressures or something, whatever. Um, it also has two tablespoons of olive oil and three tablespoons of honey. I would increase the honey probably a little bit on that one. Um, and then just black pepper and rosemary. And you can see the rosemary in there. Uh, but the flavor, you talk about the flavor on this, the dial-up, the... I mean, this was off the charts as far as flavor. And one of the things that we're really addicted to is flavor. So to know that there's that much flavor in these pearl onions, imagine if these were wings. Imagine if these, like I know a lot of people, uh, I asked this morning for a substitution for wings, and everybody's talking about, again, that jackfruit. This on jackfruit would probably make you hurt somebody. I mean, it's just that, it's just that good. I mean, this, the sauce, see how thick that sauce is? Oh, my God. It's so good. But, again, I still think it was too much soy sauce. The soy sauce is, is overpowering. Uh, and this is cold. This is cold right out of the fridge. But think of it as a topping. Uh, people were asking me, you know, why would they, sorry, guys, the camera is backwards. Um, why would they, you know, this wouldn't be necessarily a side dish. Um, but think of it as a topping on probably anything. Because, you know, back in the day, our grandmothers will always have something interesting on the plate. Or even when you go to, like, fancy restaurants, those who are fortunate enough to do the fancy restaurant, you know how they always have a little bit of something really flavorful and powerful on the plate. Not a lot of it, but just a little bit of it for you to incorporate in your meal. You might find it like as a chutney. Like, you know, this does have a, remind you of a chutney. Um, and a chutney and things like that, just something you put just a little spoon for on the plate for a person to incorporate. I can see incorporate, you know, we normally have pearl onions with green peas. I can see incorporating this with your greens. Um, cause it's just so freaking powerful as flavor so i would really i'm really you know I me mean? i'm all into these sauces 
because we keep trying to duplicate flavor at home and unfortunately we keep thinking we can do it with um unnatural unnatural things and so like salt you know um which is not unnatural but i'm just saying we keep trying to get the flavor of these flavor burst but we keep over salting our food and thinking that's it that's not it so here's a way to bring in some of that restaurant flavor at home yes i'm in i'm, I'm cooking breakfast so i'm not on camera just a little bit and i'm trying not to flash you guys and i may 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 not keep this video we'll see who complains you know but you know me honey i live in public so and i'm trying to live that life where i don't have to get dressed so sorry for the shoulder or anything else you might see <laughs> all right so in the oven i hope you guys you guys can see this right a little bit of the vegetable basket the, the i guess i could move the dish pan out the shot a little bit go away people don't want to know their dishes after this and now you know me honey i stop i'm i'm always washing dishes while i'm cleaning yes i did hit my thumb last night with that knife that was a reality oh uh, so i've got some bacon in the oven and i hope i can go to the Hope I can. I'm trying to see if I can go to the oven without without showing you guys any, anything more. Um, it's breakfast time, but I slept in, so I don't have time to go get dressed, put on makeup, and all that kind of stuff. Do a shot. All right. So the basket is here. We've got to empty this basket today. I'm gonna go. I, why how these bananas? Fall? Look at these old bananas. They don't say it. When y'all, that's a blooper. If y'all, somebody please. I'm going to have to rewind this video. When did the bananas fall? <laughs> These three little deadly bananas, they, they fell. They done clearly look. When did that happen? At what point in the shot did the bananas fall? All right, so we're going to have to definitely make a smoothie or something. I'm going to, uh, you know what? I don't have to make a smoothie. One of the things that we, one of the things, let me show you guys a trick. Am I not? Uh-oh, uh-oh, gotta watch the shot. Gotta watch the shot, Yolanda. Let me see. I'm trying to find. Here, we'll go with, we'll go with this little container here. You see these, your little containers? And I'm trying to get away from the plastic containers and get the get some really good glass containers. I probably need something a little bit bigger than that. Let me see. Somebody did load the dishwasher last night. All right, so we're going to grab one of our little... Is this bigger than that? Yeah, this one. Okay. Uh-oh, am I in the shot? Nope, gotta watch it. Can't get in the shot. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna grab one of these containers right here. So when your bananas, you know, fall off the damn banana spindle, go ahead and peel them. Don't let them, you can stop this process. And how do you do that? I'm gonna go ahead and peel these bananas and I'm gonna put them in the freezer. And then that way, if somebody decides to make a smoothie, um, you know, I might put them in the fridge. You know what I mean? We're trying not to freeze so much. Um, but look at that. Damn banana just, y'all please, somebody please rewind. Tell me when the banana fell off the thing. I'm talking about the bananas and they like, no, nah, you got to use us now, mama. You got to get us in that. We got to go now. Look at this thing. They just came off the thing. So when you find them, you know what I mean? We're not throwing away any food over here. The bananas like, we got to go today. So there you go. Stop it right there. Put them in a container. Uh, put a top on the container. And either put them in the freezer or go ahead and make a... I could blend them up and then put them in there. Good morning, Marlene. I could blend them up and I could put them in there. But go ahead and get them out of the, out of the skin and into, into protective. Like, you know, you, like you protect your weave, you protect your style, protect your bananas. And, and they done fell off the spindle while we standing here talking, complaining about the bananas. I'm like, what? Okay, so bananas... Gone. Don't let the bananas go to waste. Where's my towel? All right, so don't let the bananas go to waste. That's what you do with the bananas. Uh, what? Who? Uh, Tanya, I saw Tanya on here. Tanya posted, I wanted to share, but she didn't have her share on. Tanya posted um, some muffins this morning. I thought, the, oh my God, the, her muffins look good. Some blueberry muffins, and she did a crumble top. And I'm like, girl, I got to go. I got to go wake Patty Betty up and let her see that. Because Patty Betty would do that. All right, so I'm not, I'm not going to cut my potatoes. I'm not going to cut the potatoes. We're going to try and use our, um, hopefully this will work on camera. It works go It works amazingly off camera. Uh, I'm going to use this. You see, I have it set for a large. That right, this very sharp. You want to stop touching blades, okay? This little thing, I got it. You know, it just basically, the the 
you can put it in your cabinet. I'm sorry, guys. The camera's backwards. You can put it in your cabinet. This just hangs on there. Clip it off. It clips right back on there. You can put it on the hook, put it in the drawer, put it in the dishwasher, all of that. It is just about everything. There's so many, several different versions of it out there. You know, we're trying to go from gadget to gourmet. And it makes having, sometimes you, it's, depends on the user. I've had a lot of user error with these gadgets. <laughs> I don't want to blame the gadgets because, I mean, I'm pretty sure they've been tried and tested. Hey, Faith. Um, but I do experience user error. But what they will do, and I've never really used, I've always done it on a flat surface. I've never hooked it on. It has like these little ridges in case I want to hook it on a bowl. Let me try a bowl. Let's see if maybe that makes it easier or safer or something. I'm going to try a glass bowl. Let me see how it, how it rests in the bowl. So apparently it has these little ridges. And that seems to be pretty good. It sits on all the different. See that? That's pretty. Seems pretty stable. Let's try it. If not, we'll go back to our flat surface. So basically, um, you pull that back. Can you see that? It has that. So basically, you stab your vegetable with it. You just press down on it, and hopefully, nope, that's not it. Wait a minute. I just gotta get the first cut. And you literally can go back and forth like that. But you got you to gotta find your groove, and I have not yet found my groove with it. But you do end up with these perfectly cut little potatoes. And they cook up in the pan. They fry them up in the pan really good. So I just have to find the groove with it, y'all. Maybe I should cut, maybe I should cut this first cut off. Cause I'm not, I'm not getting anything with that. So I don't know. I gotta really figure this out. I gotta get this, I gotta get this down pat. Because I love the little gadget. But I just don't feel like I'm getting, I don't feel like I'm getting my traction with it. Can y'all see that? The potatoes? I can't see with the comments right there. Hey, y'all, Tay, good morning. I'm, trying to st I'm still trying to find my groove with the gadget here. I've got to find my groove, y'all. I don't know what to do. Because sometimes I can come here and just knock this out. I really want to do it over the bowl because I'm tired of having potato all over the counter. But it doesn't. And I'm trying not to... Okay, so that first one. First one goes kind of good. I don't know. I, just, I don't want to have to do I don't, wanna, I don't think I need too many. Because I'm just doing this. I think Petty Betty's here, but. I need to get me. Uh, I'm out of paper towels. I need to find. I need to, I need to use my um, cloth up under here. Something to make my. My area is more stationary. And then, of course, you know, you, I've got these. They're already kind of scored, so I can then just take my knife and just go ahead and finish these off. Not throwing away anything, but just cut up. They already scored this last one, so just go ahead and cut. take the knife and finish up these little edges here. We're not, you, who would throw away some potato? I don't think I need that much. I think I'm good. So, you guys that are just coming on, we talked about the Pearl Onions last night. I want to talk about the TV shows, what you guys think about the rebooting of the show. And everybody was talking about how they felt like they had to come with such kind of heavy topics or whatever. Because, you know, it looked like they kind of just... They did, like, uh, the other show, just kind of, like, the whole lottery situation, which actually was the ruin to the original show when they when they won the lottery and made all those changes. I mean, because everybody wants to see the poor come up. Um, but, you know, they lost, they lost their audience when they did all of that. So 
now that the show is back and they tried to kind of use that first two first hour of episodes or two hours, however long it was on, I was in the kitchen listening and then I tried to go and watch it, some of the replay. Um, but they had to set a lot of the premise on there. Uh, the only person I think, you know, Dan Dan looks a little looks a little weird, where, worse for wear. I guess is what you say. Dan looked a little worse for wear. Uh, but I mean, he's had a he's had a pretty healthy career outside of the show. Um, he definitely had a couple movies. I liked him in that in that flight movie with Denzel. Uh, he was hot, and I liked him in that. And I think he also was in that TV show Trimé, the New Orleans show. Yeah, see that first cut is hard, but the next cut is just really easy, and you can kind of go back and forth. Well, I guess not back and forth, huh? But um. And then, of course, you know, the other daughter, um, Darlene, she, she has that talk show. She's on the talk. So, and then uh, Becky looked a little worse for wear. Becky looked like she might have been hitting a bottle somewhere, allegedly. Uh, she looked a, little, she looked a little, little hard, like, whoa. You know, my money, I didn't do well with my money or something. I don't know. Why is that really thin? Look at that one. How, look, how did that come out, like, really thin, paper thin? Oh, because one is in there. I was like, wait a minute. That's almost see-through. Uh, Becky, oh, you know what? I forgot. Patty Betty says she loves these potatoes, so I better go a little extra. Um, and I got some bacon in the oven. All right, bacon's doing good. I don't even smell the bacon yet. What kind of bacon is that? All right, so, but um, I love, yeah, I love it. I love it. There were some, like, you know, huh, we don't need this. I think because they tried to do the Trump thing. I was surprised that Roseanne's character would have been a Trump character. Because, I mean, she just kills it on Twitter. Um, but uh, I was surprised. I, you know who my favorite character was always? Jackie. Jackie was, like, always my favorite character. She was good for the last. She was her in and out of the scenes and stuff. You know, uh, so I miss seeing her. And I liked her on other shows. She's done a lot of other shows as well. So she was always around. You didn't really... You know, not see her anywhere. I like Jackie. But Jackie was always my favorite on the show. And what I really loved was um, Jackie and Roseanne's relationship, you know, as sisters. And it shows how people can come through the same household with the same parents. And, and you know, they always was real, you know. They always was real. I like that. They, you know, it shows how, because I, I don't have any siblings. I'm an only child. And then I went on to have four kids. And, and then, but, you know, I, my cousins all have siblings and things like that. And you could always kind of see how people, even though they come through the same house, because, I mean, we, even though we were cousins, you know, we, it was during that era you spent a lot of time, cousins spent a lot of time together. As, you know, it kind of felt like we were all sisters and brothers because my grandparents you know, treated us all the same. Everybody, well, at least we came to adulthood thinking that when we all individually had our relationships with them. But um, I, it just goes to show, because even when I'm talking with my cousins and things like that, each of us has, like, different values, things, lessons that we heard that we take differently, uh, the way certain things were handled. You know, it's, it's interesting how it every it's different for everybody, but that just goes to show, you know. I'm just reading some comments. So, I think that should be enough. That's enough for be breakfast. All right, I'm going to keep the rest of these potatoes. They're going to go back in the basket. And then I'm going to go ahead and chop up this onion. I may even throw these sun-dried tomatoes. I think I will throw the sun-dried because I need to get rid of that. Uh, and then I'm going to put a little bit of this. this la Hopefully, if I cut this avocado, it's still okay. And it has completely come away from the peel. So we don't know what we're going to get when we get that. So that's going to go in the sink to be rinsed off. It goes on the top shelf of your dishwasher. And there we have our potatoes, uh, as you guys can see. So I'm going to give those a rinse. Because, you know, that's what we do. Some people rinse their potatoes, some people don't. But I didn't rinse them before because I didn't want to be working with a wet potato. So I'm going to give those a little bit of a rinse. And then, uh, of course, I'll just toss them in the pan with um, my seasoning and this onions. And I'm going to do, of course, put a little bit of garlic in there. And I got, my garlic was another thing that I'll grab that out, too, while I do this. Garlic. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you guys a butter uh, example. Hold on. 
I'm going to show you guys how I made that butter. Uh, I need another little jar. Let me see if I have another little jar because I made the butter in that. Uh, we'll try. I don't know if this will be too big to do the butter in. We'll do a butter test uh, with this cream because I, I can go ahead and use that cream up. So I'm going to do a butter. We'll do a butter. Yay, we're going to do a butter. Okay, so now we go ahead and let's get this onion cut. What are you fussing at over there? Did I get too loud for you? You trying to chill out? Talk to the dog, y'all. So go ahead and peel the onion. And we're going to cut up a couple cloves. Oh, my garlic. I was going to show you. Um, if Again, just like those bananas, if your garlic is sitting around a little too long, you're not using it fast enough, uh, go ahead and get it peeled and put it in a jar. Just as if you would buy it in the store. Uh, the same way, except for, guess what? We know there's no preservatives in there. And we know that we have to go ahead and use it. So I'm just trying to get this um, cleaned up here. This onion cleaned up. I'm, uh, I don't want to do two onions. I think one onion is going to be enough for morning breath, right? All right. So, guys, this is for breakfast. And uh, I'm about that breakfast life. I'm about, you know, what is you fussing about? I'm about breakfast. And happy anniversary. Wait a minute. Okay, I got you. I got you. What you need? Hold on. The dog is trying to say, hey, I cut that video. I got to go. I need to go. He's like, you over there talking. I got to go. That's what he's fussing about. He ready to go. <laughs> okay, we coming. He's getting a little frustrated. He's like, I've been patient. We're trying to, we're trying to figure out the dog's schedule. My son is uh, traveling. And so we are we are house sitting the dog. And uh I'm not gonna do too much on the onions, guys. Just give them a little cut here. Alright, I think uh, do I need more onion? Mm, I'm looking at oh I need I gotta rinse those. Let me give my potatoes a rip. Let me get my pan ready. Here with a little bit of EV. Uh oh. Am I in the shop? Don't let me get in that shop, y'all. Y'all don't want to see. Okay, she's coming. So here's my new EV. Uh oh bottle. Thank you. Petty Betty is like, look, I'm tired of you in that big old. Bottle. I'm thinking I want a little bit more onion. All right, so I'm going to get these a rinse, guys. Hold on. Nisha. All right, so we're going to give those a rinse. And I'm going to let these, I need to rinse them and let them kind of dry because I don't want to put them wet. I'm going to let these drain really well because I don't want to toss them wet into that hot oil as I let that oil get hot. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. We're going to make some butter. So if you're on, if you're coming on, I'll tell you, if you just came on and clicked through seeing this on a friend's timeline, thank them for sharing good content with you. I think I'm going to go get on another onion while we let those potatoes drain. I got this huge, got this big onion right here, guys. Sorry for the cleavage. Because I feel like I may have some leftover potato, maybe, because we love we love these potatoes, breakfast potatoes. I am going to go ahead and give a little bit more onion on there because I feel like I need a, I use more potato than I thought I would, and we love it. And you know, onion, onion is really good for the body. For those of y'all that don't like onion, uh, we eat onion and everything. You already know. Oh, I thought that was 11 o'clock. Why, all day yesterday, I kept thinking yesterday was Friday, because it was my Friday, actually. 
Tuesday and Wednesday is my weekend. For those that are looking in, looking through this little small screen, trying to figure out how I have this kind of time to do this stuff. Um, full disclosure, Tuesday and Wednesday is my weekend. I'm really busy on your weekend. Your weekend is my Monday. is the start of my week. My weekend is the middle of your week. So, you know, stop assuming things, people, and just ask and understand how we get this stuff done. How do people get this stuff done? Because I know when you're looking through your social media, you're like, how are these people living these lives? You know, don't they have these concerns? Let me tell you, honey, I have had 50 years of concerns, okay? I'm, I, I have 50 years, in fact, 50 years raising four kids, trying to get them to become the best citizens that they could be, uh, amazing adults. I'm just going to go ahead and give this just a cross cut. Because, uh, there we go. I don't, I don't want, we don't like tiny onions. We like big, juicy onions in our food, right? So, when you're looking at this screen and you're calling up your girlfriends or whoever it is that you, you get negative with, right? Who, who do you get negative with? Whoever you get negative with, uh, and you're wondering, like, how are these people living these lives? How do they get to do what they do? Why? Let me tell you, people, people, what's important to people that's how their deeds, that's how their lives are. It's important to me not to be stressed at 50. I'm beyond 50, as a matter of fact. It's important to me not to be have to have the same concerns that, that I had at 30 or in my 20s. It's, it's priority to me to get back in this kitchen and because I know at this age, most of us, when we get to this age, we spend the majority of our time fighting, the majority of our time fight. He probably go right out there, so um, be careful. Um, we spend the majority of our time, you know, some of us have never been here before, okay? I don't know, you know. I, I've never been this age. I've never been at this space. I have, for the past 30 years, been raising kids. I looked up one day and... There's nobody else. They're all grown. They're all gone. And I'm, I'm like, hey, you know, um, bacon. Check your bacon. So make sure I got a bit over in this stove. Let me get out the shop. <laughs> when you smell the bacon, it's done. When you smell the bacon, it's done. So now we have to get the bacon out the pan. Somebody give me my spatula. Ooh, listen to that bacon. Sizzler. That bacon sizzler. So I'm going to get this bacon out of this grease. And I'm going to go ahead and get these potatoes. On. Matter of fact, I'm going to take some of this bacon grease and mix it in over here with this oil. Because I'm old school like that. I know I'm using this good old fresh uh Olive oil, which is on. Who turned it on? I did? Okay. So I'm going to drop a little bit of this bacon grease over here. In with this EVOO, that extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to mix in a little bit of that bacon grease so my potatoes will have some of that. Okay. So we're going to talk about that, but let me get my potatoes on in the pan. Let me see. I want a little bit of garlic in there. I'm going to go ahead and. Get me a little garlic, garlic in there. Ooh, I may take some of that pearl onion uh, and put on top of these potatoes. Remember I said old schoolers, the old schoolers would um, always have a little little flavor packet, little flavor punch, if we call it that, on the side of your plate. You know, because you felt like, because grandma put it over there, it probably ain't good. Honey, grandma had some of the best food and was it was really probably happy you didn't even want to try it. You know what? Now that I think about it, I'm not gonna even mince this garlic. I'm gonna go large on the garlic. Uh, because I'm gonna let it do what it do. I just go through it. I'm gonna pass through it just maybe once or twice. Since my onions are large and my potatoes are a nice size, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it um keep it kind of chunky on the garlic too. All right. Now for this, you know, um, 
I'm gonna go. I'm gonna let it go in all all together because it's basically about the same consistency. Normally, we we've learned that to put the onions in there, salt the onions, let them kind of get transparent, um, and that that works for great flavor. It's and it is literally a different flavor. But when I think about because um, my onions and my potatoes are about the same cut, and my potatoes probably actually need to cook a little bit longer than my onion. I'm gonna let them go at the same time. Um, Here comes my shelf. Y'all back quick. No, I gotta get this done. He don't work at all. I'm trying to get him. Oh, get the collar. Mm -hmm. Sit down. Oh, he got to go play. You ain't no good. No problem. That's probably why he's trying to get out because he's probably trying to fool us. That's probably why he's trying to get out of because if he didn't run right to if he didn't run right to use the bathroom then, and it need to be charged when he starts making that noise that soon like that. All right, so we'll let that simmer over there. And it will, while that's simmering, I'm gonna give you the, the bacon cut. Now, Miss Petty Betty, you bought these bananas and didn't eat them. Mm -hmm. They literally fell off the stem. Okay, this is my banana bread. That's why I said, I, that's, see, she said what the first thing she said, I'll just use it for my banana bread. But that's why I said to go ahead and peel them so they don't keep ripening. And then either we put them in the freezer or put them in the fridge. Are you going to do the banana bread soon? Today, if you're going to do the banana bread today, I'll put all the ingredients for banana bread. All right, so she's going to come back and make some banana bread. So I'm going to put that in the fridge instead of the freezer. If she wasn't going to use them, I would go ahead and freeze them. And then we can use them in smoothies or anything else. So give me a second. Let me get my... Um, My potatoes stirred over here. So basically, I'm getting ready to just season these up. My potatoes and my onions and my garlic all in the pan. I'm going to put a top on that and let that just kind of go over here. I'm going to salt and season. I'm thinking about putting a little smoked paprika or something on that. But first, I'm just going to go ahead and salt it. Because that salt is going to bring out the sweetness in the onions. And those potatoes, I'm going to let them just kind of sweat up under there and get going good. Now that sounds like breakfast in the morning. But I'm going to put a top on there just because I want to keep that heat in there and go ahead and get those potatoes soft. All right. Here comes the hat. Here comes the hat. Everybody wait because she's about to do a hat. All right. Thirsty, drinking some juice. Okay, so now I want to make a butter, right? We saw this hack on Facebook. Now, I used a very tiny jar before. I don't know if this is going to be good for aeration or whatever, but how do you make butter? What I love about this is um, you can do it according to what you're serving, right? So... Yesterday, oh, I got a tomato in there. I got to use that tomato. I got a whole tomato in there. I thought they were using it for sandwiches. So what I'm going to do is I got sauce on my deal. Sauce in my deal. Okay, so I'm going to make a deal butter, um, a salted deal butter. I'm just going to cut up a little bit of deal, only because I want you to be able to see uh, that what's in the aeration that we're going to do here. I'm, and I don't know where that term came from. I'm just going to lightly do a little bit of deal. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, this smells like a restaurant up in here. All this for breakfast, Yolanda. I'm about that life. I'm about that life. I am so about that breakfast life. And I don't want this too big because, like I said, it is a butter. But when I spread it, and I'm not going to use a lot because I want to keep some air So basically, my I'm going to put in my cream. Can you guys, if you can't see, because I know this is low, move the comments. Swipe left, swipe to the right, and move the comments out the way so that you can see. I'll bring it up above. So basically what I'm going to do here now, I'm just going to pour in the cream. 
Not a lot, because I don't want like a lot of butter. And then I'm going to put in my, my dill. Okay? The dill is going in there. So guess what? We know what's all in the butter. We know what's all in the butter. Do I want to put some garlic in there? No. <laughs> I do, but I don't. Um, and then I'm going to put it, that puts salt, and then we're just going to salt it. You know, you can have salted, unsalted butter, but that salt does help. Um, and see here, I know it works because there's one right there. All right, so now I'm going to put my top on here, and I know I saw my top somewhere. After fussing at everybody, I found the top. And I call myself leaving it where I saw it. There we go. I, and basically, I like you guys, I've started keeping my jars. And then guess what you do? Now, in the little hack, they say shake for one minute. No. You shake it until you don't hear it anymore. See how you can hear the liquid? Now, imagine you just give this to a kid, one of the kids, you know, if you're using a glass or plastic, take one of their sippy cups or whatever. I don't know. Now, of course, this is the hack. Now, of course, what we really could do is we could go ahead and blend it up. Let's see. Let me try to shake it. Other things are shaking on camera here. <laughs> Let me stir my potatoes. I'm going to shake and stir. I wonder if I throw this in a neutral bullet, what, what would that do? That'll basically just aerate it. So that might work too. I'm gonna put a little bit of seasoning in my um, potato. Now that my onions are going, salt, pepper, seasoning. I'm trying to show y'all this example, but I'm tired. And again, you just shake it until you don't hear it anymore. And you can see it's pretty much arid. It's cream. What does cream do? Turn to butter. I need to cut up some deal to go on my uh, vegetables over here, guys. Bear with me. I don't know how I got sauce in my deal, but I'm going to go ahead and use the rest of this deal. I got soy sauce on my deal from last night. I'm glad I'm going to go ahead and use it. This I'm going to go ahead and toss it in with my potatoes. And ever since I did that recipe of uh it was called warm dill potato salad. Oh my God. Let me tell you, I, I just fell in love with dill. So, and, and use it when I go shopping. That's the first thing I get on my list. things I will do is I will when I put the oil and I just forgot to do it this time but one of the things I will do is while my oil is heating up is put some sprigs of thyme in the oil I'm going to drop a little bit of this rosemary over here in my potatoes while you guys are waiting for me over there Because we clean, we need to empty out. We need to empty out our bin here because we have to go shopping. I have to get ready to record my answer of the day. All right, rosemary's in. See? 
seasonings and salt in. I'm gonna probably I'm gonna hit it off with a little bit more oil so I can put that top on there. Just basically let it sweat it out and then uh it'll be ready. And you know what I'm gonna put on top of this? Egg. Now, uh, let me clean up some of this and we can just shake, 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 shake our butter. I forgot I had these shallots over here. Deal is done. The deal is done. I'm going to talk a little bit more about this pearl onions for those of you that are coming in and maybe catching this on your friend's timeline. Last night, we also made homemade pizza um, because what we did last night, and I did my cooking last night. Guys, sorry I didn't do it today, um, but I did it last night because, like I said, it felt like the weekend. Well, actually, last night was kind of my Sunday. So, we did some pearl onions. We did two sauces last night. We had to empty the basket of our pearl onions and our grape tomatoes. So, of the grape tomatoes, we made a piece of sauce. I shared that video. Hey, Frederick. Um, I shared that video for you guys out there, the pizza video. We, I made a sauce. I was like, I bet you this could become a really nice pizza sauce. So, we, it, we ended up getting a pizza dough. And we put that sauce on there. Then uh, we had some, we went again to the basket. We got onion out of the basket. We got a green bell pepper, red bell pepper out of the basket. The red bell pepper went in with the tomatoes for a sauce. Only uh, it, was red, it was grape tomatoes, red pepper, um, garlic, and a few herbs, right? And, and I sauteed that up in the pan, emulsified a little bit of it, thickened it up. Um... And that became our pizza sauce. By the time she comes back from walking the dog, we can have breakfast. I'm going to take those home fries and I'm going to put a couple of over medium eggs on top. So that yolk, oh, that's going to be so good. Okay, so out of the pizza sauce, it was just basically great tomatoes, the red pepper, garlic, um, and a couple of seasonings, right, in the olive oil. And then uh, I hit it off with just a little bit of vegetable stock and then just kind of mixed it up, and that became my pizza sauce. We were trying to figure out what can we put that sauce on. We was like, let's just make some pizza. We had some sausage. We had green bell pepper. Um, we had onions. And so she sauteed the, the sausage, peppers, and onions. That became the next layer. So we had the pizza dough, the homemade sauce, the... Um, toppings which she did and then the and then topped that off with some cheese and it kind of made a made a nice deep dish pizza right because it wasn't tiny we didn't we left everything kind of large bite size uh we didn't go like real tiny we we stayed bite size bite size on the onions bite size on the pepper peppers bite size on the sausage she likes uh those hoagies those cheesesteak hoagies so everything that she makes looks like a cheesesteak um so it was really, really good, kind of like a deep dish pizza. We, we'll probably do that. That'll probably become a weekend staple or a midday. You know what? And the thing about it is we live too much for the weekend. We don't live enough for every day. So we did that on a Tuesday night. And you know what? There was so much television on last night. Let me tell you, the television gods are so happy right now. Let's talk about a little bit of the success factor of incorporating social media. Television was the first of all the networks. We're talking about radio. We're talking about news. 
newspapers, music industry. Television was one of the first industries to really get social media right. Social media saved television. Prior to Twitter, I probably had not watched television in, since the 90s, since Martin and Living Single and, 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 and all of those black shows went off television. Like, I'm done with this. I'm not going to come and sit down in front of you and all you do is, is show a negative side of me. And we're getting back to that point. That's why they're out there rebooting all these shows because there is not another generation to sit in front of a television the way we did. Think about that, y'all. So... But now, television and using social media because it's like, you want to tweet, you want to update, you want to, no, mostly tweet, you want to tweet about what you're watching and, and, and get on there and talk with your friends and stuff. So now you're getting back on the sofa. Roseanne Return had, had continuity. Okay. I'm trying to read but not get on camera. Okay, so we were that generation. We were the television generation. That's Don't get it twisted. that they're, they're reading boot in these shows because we were that generation. And the thing you have to learn is the generation that's born with your industry is a generation that's going to stay with your industry throughout a lifetime. I'm a radio junkie. I'm going to be a radio junkie for my lifetime, right? Because I was born in the era of the beginning of television. Well, not the beginning of television, but I was born in the era where television and radio both had their significant lanes. I put it that way. That way I don't have to act like I'm so old, right? So... Both of those mediums, as well as newspapers and magazines, those were the, that's the media of my life. Whereas today, the, why am I shaking this? I'm making butter, guys. Um, so the medium for today's generation, the millennials, is they want it, they, they're the now. It's like, if I can't get it right now, you know, and somebody said the other day, they're very strategic. They're very strategic because that was uh, the generation born, they were born into chaos. They were born in the chaos with, with us as parents, okay? Everything for them, they saw a whole lot of chaos. They might not, they're not, as your children, they're not going to say it to you. They will, because mine did. Like, the reason I'm in my kitchen right now, because my children want to get the chaos out of my life. They're like, Mom, you just need to chill out. You just need to chill out for a second. Just chill out. You've been through a lot. Just chill out, right? And so, you know, and I, I'm, again, full disclosure, because people looking in through these tiny screens trying to figure out everybody else's life. See, now you notice how quiet it's getting. You see how my herbs are sticking to the side there? And you notice my jar has like no label on it, right? I, I'm just starting to keep my jar. But listen. See how quiet it's getting? So it's making butter. See how it's coating the sides there? We're almost at butter. Look at that. Right? Okay, so we keep talking. It's almost there. I didn't use a blender. I didn't put it in the neutral bullet. Let me stir my, my potatoes. I don't want no burnt bottom potatoes. Although I do want some nice crispiness on that. So I'm going to toss my potatoes. I do want a little bit of crispy in there, but not a lot. You guys can move the comments if you can't see. I feel like I had a little bit more herb in the last batch. There was Oh, peppers was in the last batch. That's what I don't have in this batch. I don't have any peppers. We used all the peppers. I'm like, why is mine, why am I only seeing a couple of colors in this? And my potatoes are starting to break down, so they're pretty much done. So I'm gonna turn these down, I'm gonna let them crisp, crisp up a little bit more. And I'll let those kind of keep going till my daughter comes back with the dog. I'm gonna turn that down. And I'm gonna keep shaking my butter because I know she's gonna want some toast. But you can hear how quiet it's getting. Look, there we go. There's that dead silence. Listen. See that? You want to shake till you get that dead silence. That means that's it. It's ready. Our butter is ready. You hear it? Look at that. Yep, there we go. There we go. See how? Look at the peak on that. See that? There is our butter. You keep shaking it, and all of a sudden, you get that dead silence. It went, when I, as soon as I shook it, the entire content went, I know that top, ignore the top. As soon as I shook it, the entire content went to the other side of the jar. And the good thing about it was, is it, there's no real liquid in there. It's not going to deflate. I can then put this in the fridge. And look at the size of the jar. Look at the size. See that? See how the herbs are on the side of the jar? Look at that. There's our butter. See that? Look at the top. Look at the top. This might not look sexy on the thing, but... Look at that. 
Mmm. We got ourselves some butter. We got ourselves some butter. Enough salt. And, and I could have gone, oh my God, that's good. I could have gone no salt if I wanted. Right? For those of you that want to go no salt, you can go no salt. But basically, that's it. Pour the cream. We, we, we did about half a jar of cream. Uh, probably even less than that. I was using heavy whipping cream. Whatever versions you guys, I don't know, you can try it if you don't do dairy. Uh, try it with something else. But for those that are still on dairy in moderation, um, I use about a half a jar. This is probably a good 12 ounce jar, I think. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take my potatoes off. I think they're ready. And I'm gonna get ready to make, and look, my butter's ready in time. All I gotta do now is, and you know what? I can actually cook my eggs. Um, this is gonna go on our toast. So we're gonna have our bacon. Uh, we got us some nice homemade butter. I'm trying to get it in the shot there. See how the herbs are float on the side? That jar is filled with butter now. So, now think about it. Basically, we're talking about now, I'm going to go to the restaurant. Look at that. Can you guys see that? Look at that. That is some good butter. Okay, so that's going to go on our toast. Now, imagine you're in your kitchen cooking breakfast. Mother's Day is coming up. You got to prepare that nice breakfast in bed. You love going to the restaurants where they have a, a bread serving. And you're always trying to figure out, like, where do they get that good whipped butter? That's it right there. That's it right there. I probably could have chopped my deal up a little bit more. But just imagine when I spread that on the toast. Uh, and on my toast is going to be, of course, my five grain bread. And I got to make sure, because my bread is fresh as well. I got to make sure my bread is okay. So we got our butter. Um, it can go in the fridge. It does not deflate later because I use heavy whipping cream. Um, I don't have to worry about it. Because look, this is the one I did the other day. It doesn't, it doesn't um, deflate. I don't have to worry about, you know, oh, liquid. Like, you know how sour cream ends up having that liquid? Um, it's not going to reduce. It's, it's there. It's there to stay. I'm gonna put that in the fridge, and we'll have we'll have some fresh butter. And look, what if I what if I was eating? Talk about a snack, butter, and then this this pearl onion on the side. Oh my God, we're about to eat good. We're about to eat good. And notice, guys, it wasn't like a lot of ingredients. And I think a lot of us are intimidated by recipes because we look at it and we go, Oh my God, that's a lot. That's a lot of steps. Um, you can't really take shortcuts. One of the things I have learned, you waste your money. Hey, Dad. Dad, look what I just made. I just made some butter. You just missed it. I made some butter. And basically all I did was, I, Dad, I put the heavy whipping cream in there. My dad knows all of this stuff already. But I put the heavy whipping cream in there, a little bit of salt. You, don't, you use salt. You can't have salt. So use your heavy whipping cream, and then I just cut up some herbs, and as you can see, the herbs are on the side of the jar, and you just basically shake it until you hear dead silence. Uh, some people said a few minutes. I just did it right here on this video while I was um, making some hash browns, and as soon as you hear dead silence, you've got butter. So there you go, right? So, and then I would, let me show you guys. I got my butter. Look at that. I don't even have to dig it out. There it is right there at the top of the jar. There it is. Look, Nish. She said, oh, that's going to go good on that five grand. Go ahead and get yourself. We got to wash your hands. You fooling with that dog. Don't oh, come to my yeah, kitchen. Yeah. All right. And then, Dad, last night we did pearl onions. We got pearl onions. Uh, discovered an amazing sauce. Tell me, Dad. We discovered an amazing sauce um, that we're going to today probably put it on some wings. No, but I'm saying we can make it again. So oh, we, know, yeah. we know the recipe now. Um, and then we had an amazing pizza last night. That video is out there. I shared a little bit more of that this morning. Uh, we talked about emptying the basket. Still got these sweet potatoes in here we have yet to use. I've cut up sweet potatoes several times and still never did. Daughter said she was going to make sweet potato cheesecake. And I guess we did. Oh, sweet... no, she didn't. Yeah, and sweet potato cheesecake didn't make. So I guess we did sweet potato cheesecake for each. We've been talking about how to have a different Easter dinner. Dad, we gonna... can we put Easter dinner on, Granddaddy? He ain't cooked in a long time. Uh, Somebody better ask. All right, so the hash browns are ready. She's back from walking the dog. We got some bacon over here. 
I had I put some bacon on. Mmm. Bacon is good. Um, we talked about what to do with your bananas if they're ripening too fast and you're not necessarily using them. Go ahead and peel them and get them in another container. If you're not going to use them right away, go ahead and freeze them. If you are going to use them, she said she's going to make some banana bread. Um, so I'm going to leave those. Just put that in the fridge. But if you're not using them fast enough, go ahead and get it. My lemon water, yes, I am still on my lemon water. Um, so I've still not had Kool-Aid. I've been drinking my lemon water. And um, I need a new batch. That's on the list today. Go ahead and get some lemons. I'm not even, I can't even dilute that anymore because I've gone through that batch enough. Um, this lemon I have sitting here, this is a lemon I bought from the grocery store. I'm afraid of it. You smell it. It does not smell like lemon. It smells like a whole bunch of chemicals. So when I use that batch of lemon from the grocery store and I cut them up and I made that lemonade, I could have probably blew up something. I swear to you. I probably could like this. This lemon smells like gasoline. Uh, I'm never buying lemon from the grocery store anymore. I'm only going to get my lemons at a vegetable stand because they come from the farm. I pour out that batch of lemon. I went and got me some lemons from the vegetable stand. They smell like lemon. When I put these down in the garbage disposal, my garbage disposal is going to smell like lemon. Smell this lemon. Tell me what that smells like. This grocery store lemon. We didn't have peppers. That's why it looked like that. We didn't have any peppers left. Here, smell that lemon. Tell me what you smell. You smell lemon? Ooh. Right. Smell chemicals. Smell chemicals. So we're not buying lemons. And those of you, you know, you, those of you grocery stores that are making your produce section look amazing because you know that everybody is on that vegetable kit, it's not going to hurt you to at least get your lemons locally from some of these farmers. I'm sorry. This right here smells nothing like a lemon. It smells just like the gasoline that I put in my car. I brought these lemons home from the grocery store. I'm not even going to say which one. I cut them up because, you know, we keep the whole lemon. And I boiled them, and I made, poured in the thing, and I went to drink it, and I was like, what in the absolute hell is that? Not, this is not a lemon. It looks like a lemon. This is not a lemon. It smells like pure gasoline. So... I, I kept it just to show you guys. So I went back to my vegetable stand. I got me some farm fresh lemon. I brought them home, cut it up, and I enjoyed my lemonade. And I'm going to go back to the vegetable stand today. And I'm going to get my lemon on there. All right. What is that? I got you some bacon. I'm, oh, I'm eating the biscuits. I want the biscuits. Mm. You know I was going to put you on blast. Come. I thought she was going to eat. Look, they can see your plate. We were in the shop. Okay, I just want the biscuits out. We'll take the biscuits out and get rid of this. I done made this girl a homemade breakfast and she come in here with this stuff. All right, guys, I'm going to get ready to go. Give me something. Give me my potatoes over there so I can end my video. Homemade butter. Homemade butter. And we're going to um, we're gonna, we're gonna put a little bit of these pearl onions on these potatoes. And we're going to, I'm going to plate up a potato. I'm going to put, I'm, I'm, I got to go because I'm ready to eat. But, I'm going to take the hash browns. I'm going to put some over medium eggs on top with some with a side of bacon, some um, fresh butter on five grain Italian bread, and that's going to be our breakfast with a little bit of these pearl onions. I think we'll definitely have to try with the pearl onion because that's too much flavor in that pearl onion. So on that note, I'm going to say goodbye and I'm going to hit this button. Thanks for watching. See ya. I'm trying to hit that button. <laughs>